welcome to our Medtronic SonarMed Airway Monitoring System instructional video. This first-of-its-kind device will help in monitoring the location of the endotracheal tube tip during ventilation and may help prevent unplanned extubations by providing notification of tube tip movement. The device will help detect and locate obstructions within the ETT for optimal suctioning helping improve the ability to manage your patient's airway at the bedside. It can be used on all endotracheal tube sizes and all patient sizes, from neonates to adults. Your product bedside setup should include the following items. A sonar med monitor and power cord, a sonar med sensor with Y connector for neonatal sizes and sensor cable, and a printed copy of instructions for use. We are now ready to set up and connect the SonarMed device. Turn on the monitor. It will emit an audible tone. Choose the appropriate size sensor to match your patient's ETT size. Then connect the sensor cable to the sensor. Step by step, the system will walk you through a short setup process. During this process, you will be guided through your sensor calibration and setting confirmations. Once the sensor is calibrated, remove the 15 mm adapter or the inline suction Y and replace it with the SonarMed sensor and Y connector. Close the circuit to continue ventilation to the patient. The monitor will now recognize the connection to the specific ETT selected. It is now time to set your baseline location on the monitor. It is important that your baseline is set at the most optimal location within the trachea. Once set, your device will start continuous monitoring and your setup is complete. You may be thinking, how does this device work and what data will I see on my screen? This unique device uses acoustic reflectometry technology to monitor the set optimal position of the ETT in the trachea. The sonar med sensor emits sound waves through the tube and then measures the intensities and timing of the echoes as they return, allowing us to detect several key measures. The first continuous measure is movement and direction of the ETT tip. You will see upward movement from the set baseline location and an indication if the tube is too high. You will also see downward movement from the set baseline location with an indication if the tube is too low. The second continuous measure is the circumference of the patient's trachea at the tip of the endotracheal tube. This allows you to receive a notification if the tube has entered a smaller passageway, such as the right main bronchial stem, or a notification that the tip of the ETT has entered a larger passageway, such as the area above the cricoid. The third continuous measure is indication of an obstruction located in the tube. Obstructions can consist of mucus or other secretions. When an obstruction is detected, the sonar med device will display the location of the obstruction in relation to ETT depth markings. It will also indicate the percentage obstructed within the endotracheal tube, which may allow for more optimal suctioning practices. All of these measures are continuously monitored and real-time feedback is provided on the sonar med monitor. You can view the monitoring information by two different display options. One screen shows a simple summary display through icons of movement or tube occlusions. The second screen shows the airway waveform in more detail. You will be able to set alarm thresholds in the alarm settings to tailor your audible alerts. You will be able to set your alarm thresholds for movement up, movement down, obstruction percentage occluded, alarm volume, and finally, alert thresholds for smaller or larger circumference detection. The SonarMed Airway Monitoring System is the first FDA-cleared airway monitoring system with the ability to monitor ETT position and patency in real time.
the system provides immediate feedback on ETT movement or obstructions and alerts you, the clinician, to potential airway concerns, which may save precious time and enhance your patient's safety. Because one unplanned extubation is one too many. We'd like to share some additional important user information before using your device for the first time. Be sure to charge the monitor for at least two hours. This will ensure the internal battery backup is sufficiently charged. It is important to be aware of the contraindications for this product. Do not attempt to reuse or sterilize the sonar med sensor. Cross-contamination is possible and the sensor cannot withstand the sterilization process. Do not use the sonar med system in an MRI environment. Do not use on cuffless ETT sizes of between 4.5 millimeters and 9.0 millimeters. The sonar med device is only intended for use with a cuffed ETT for this size range. Do not use on patients who require an ETT smaller than 2.5 millimeters. Do not use the sonar med on patients ventilated with Heliox. For a full list of precautions and detailed product information, please review the SonarMed user manual included in your product package.